Welcome back everyone. In this course, I will teach you the most in-demand skill for a machine learning engineer in 2025, which is building multi-agentic workflows, and we're doing it the right way. We're doing it in AWS Bedrock, so that it's production ready. I will show you how you can access the newest models, how you can create collaborators, how you can create agents, action groups, and so much more. Currently, our workflow consists of deploying our entire workflow through API Gateway, which means if you have a back end or a front end that you want to use and use it for your own project, then it's done because you can just simply replace your own workflow. I will show you how to deploy it so that you can invoke your uh, workflow, your agentic, multi agentic workflow through any back end or front end you want. Now, we deploy it and it's deployed. Once invoked, it will call Lambda function, which calls on the supervisor agent. But what are we building? We are creating our own travel agent. That means we're going to have a supervisor agent who's going to have access to additional agents, such as the accommodation agent and the restaurant agent. And based off of the conversations with the user, the supervisor agent will know which agent to call, whether the user wants to stay overnight somewhere or whether they want to dine somewhere. And depending on that, it will pass it to the appropriate agent. The appropriate agent will have action groups right now. They're Lambda functions and they can invoke other APIs, whether that's a NoSQL or a SQL database. Right now, uh, our data is going to be located in S3 and we're going to have a list of hotels or Airbnbs that the user can go to and also restaurants. But let's see this in action. So over here, this is the live URL that is for the API, which we deploy through API Gateway. And we're gonna have a persistent session, so I'm gonna keep the session the same so that we're gonna be able to talk back and forth. And I'm gonna say, I wanna stay in Austin for three nights. Let's see what happens. So I sent the request, oops, sorry. This is supposed to be a post request. So I'm sending the request and what's happening right now is we're hitting API Gateway, which triggers a Lambda function and forwards the request to the supervisor agent. And the supervisor agent is gonna decide which additional agent to call on. So as you can see right now, my internet is pretty laggy, which is why it's uh, so slow. But once we have the response, as you can see, I found a hotel in Austin called Sapphire Stay. For Airbnb options, I need some additional information. Could you please let me know your preferences for the following? Do you need pets? Do you need a pool or sauna? And first, let's say um, I want to stay in an Airbnb and I want to sleep there with my dog and I don't care if it has a pool or a sauna. And before I continue, let's let's take a look what happened. So I said I wanted to stay overnight in Austin and it already found a hotel for me. But for Airbnb options, it's asking me for additional filters. Now, why is that? Well, let's send in this request. And in the meantime, I will show you. So if we go back to our database, as you can see, our list of Airbnbs are over here. And each Airbnb is specified whether their pets are allowed, it has a pool or a sauna. And for the list of hotels, we can specify the location. And remember, I said Austin. And as you can see, it found the Sapphire stay in Austin. But for Airbnbs, it needed additional information from me, right? It needed to know whether, you know, it's user friend, or pet friendly, whether we want a pool, whether we want a sauna. So that's why it asked me to clarify whether, you know, I want to stay at a hotel or an Airbnb. So we know that the accommodation agent has been called by the supervisor agent. It basically ran the function and it basically scanned both the databases, the hotels database and the Airbnb's database, but it realized that it doesn't have enough information to scan the Airbnb's database. So it prompted me to provide more information. And as you can see, I found an Airbnb an option in Austin that allows pets and matches your criteria. And the name is Penthouse Paradise. So let's go back to the Airbnb's. And as you can see, Penthouse Paradise in Austin is pet friendly, it doesn't have a pool, and it doesn't have a sauna. 
So essentially, this is what our travel agent can do. And, you know, we can ask it about restaurants as well, and we will in the course. But this is a sneak peek into what we're going to be building. And the nice thing is, is I'm going to take you from zero to production. And this agent is customizable in any way. So whether you want a travel agent, a mortgage agent, a sales assistant, or whatever you want, I will show you how you can modify it with the appropriate prompts, how you can set up multi-agentic collaboration. And so it's really exciting because the opportunities are endless. So I hope to see you in the course.